Aeon. This is part two of the whole network marketing structure and all of the bullshit that has been created by the. I mean, it don't even have to be directly because of network marketing. It can be from just uh, you know other individuals trying to uh, sell you something, <clears throat> and then you find out that it's uh, something that was just bullshit. But uh, these are the points that I saw within. Uh, uh, the point of me, uh, my experience with with uh, network marketing. Points I saw within this is uh, <clears throat> deceiving others. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to deceive others because, see, for me, I like to do self forgiveness to just release that point from my, my system and therefore I will be clear, stable, here, direct. Um, let's see, fear, I saw fear of me telling people um, about the opportunity. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear telling others about this opportunity. The fear stems from the belief that people will not like it. So that is kind of like a, a judgment, an expectation. So I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to judge others by uh, uh and through fearing that if I tell them about um, if I tell them about the opportunity uh, that they will not like it or they will be disinterested in it um, let's see some more points that I saw within this. Believing that, well, even though this is a point that a lot of people utilize within sales, there is a point where um, it is not necessary or uh, not necessary all the time or it's not really a point to be considered in every moment and that is the point of deception unless you know um, so I just want to clear that up whether it's true or not I want to clear it up for myself I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to believe that um, I have to deceive others um, to make money. Um, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to connect sales with deception. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to connect sales with fear. I forgive myself that I have not accepted and allowed myself to be self-honest with incels. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to identify as a salesman. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to believe that sales is the only way to make money. Even though, whether it's true or not, you know, um, I'd like to clear that point out for me because it's not about, because uh, self-forgiveness is not about whether it's true or not, it's about clearing and releasing the past, um, the points that creates the integrity and the personality of how I exist in this world, within this system. Would have been perceiving yourself separate from sales 
I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to perceive myself separate from self. Um, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to believe that I am uh, limited. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to believe that since I don't have a lot of money, I have to use sales to become wealthy. Separation. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to perceive myself separate from money. Alright, so that's it.